guys. Um, it's me, Eric, here in the deep, dark underground of my house. Um, it's been quite a week. Uh, yeah, um, I really liked all your other guys' vlogs. They were really nice. And I apologize. I'm really unprepared. And honestly, I, I don't really know what to say. So I'll just start, um, hmm, well, Wednesday, uh, second day of orientation, pretty much the same as the first day, except less of the listening to stuff that we already know, and more of the following people around to places they already showed us. Um... There was a lot of sitting around in the field, too, and there was free food. So that was good. Actually, it was really good. Um, and then Thursday. Thursday was the first day of actual class. And that was really interesting. Uh, I had English. And I went in there. And I remember waiting around, and then the Mr. Professor guy shows up right on time. Like, they always seem to magically do because they have magical powers. Um... And he goes up, he's like, hey, here's the course outline, and I noticed it was like five 1,800-word essays. And I'm not exactly the world's strongest writer, so that kind of freaked me out a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, yeah, that was, that was a little interesting. Uh, so he gave us an assignment to go read The Miller's Tale. I don't know how many of you have actually read The Miller's Tale, but it's pretty raunchy. It involves people kissing bums that are hung out of windows and sticking never mind um yeah so then uh after that wait around for a bit hung out with people in the quad and other areas of the campus um after that we had environmental design and I, I don't know about you guys but i was really excited for our environmental design really really excited I thought it was going to be the best course I joined. So I was really, really excited. I went in there expecting not what it was. It, it wasn't exciting. and it, Well, I guess for people in there it was. But I expected to go in there and hear about how great it was. Well, not... I expected to go in there and learn how to um how to design anything. And then I go in there and like you're going to design a chair and then a ship. And then for some reason you're going to research this guy in China and talk about what he's doing. But you aren't all going to do that. You're going to get randomly split up into groups. So coming in here learning how to design stuff, you might actually learn about some random guy in China or icebreaker boats and that didn't really appeal to me but you know what I thought I could stick it out and so then he says you're gonna need a notebook well a sketchbook because you have to sketch stuff every day just sketching stuff turn that in it's very important for your mark and I was like oh crap because I can't draw for sh bad word um so I uh I was like crap because the only reason I'm go I took that course because I want I don't know how many of you know this but I really want to get into video game level design which involves a lot of 3D modeling and such and I mean I do some of that so I have things that I've designed on the computer and one of the ladies held up her hand she was like is it okay if we put a disc into our sketchbook so you can look at the stuff on the disc and I was like that's a really good question I want to know what he's gonna say and he's like no and please don't hand in 3D model projects and then he started laughing and I was like okay gonna have to drop this one and I was really really upset about that and I dropped it that night and it, it felt kinda good and uh, then on the weekend later around didn't do much broke my minecraft trying to install the pre-release of 1.8 apparently except it just broke my Minecraft and then Minecraft wouldn't close. I would shut off my computer, log back in and Minecraft would still be open, but there wouldn't be a window or anything, it would just be open. 
and I don't know, it bothered me. I fixed it though. I re-downloaded it and then it turns out it was 1.8. And I was like, well that's awesome. I don't know how many of you were avid followers of Minecraft or even know what it is, but I really enjoy it. Like Yeah, it's it's an outlet for me and designing things in 3D I just build crap. It's fun. <laughs> I really enjoy it. Um the, the same goes for like I don't know how many of you are avid followers of the Halo series. I mean, a lot of people don't like the multiplayer because it's unrealistic or whatever. And that's fine. I don't really, I'm not like a huge fan of the multiplayer. I like Forge. I go in there and I don't make like giant things and be like, look, it's a Transformers robot, guys. I go and I'm like, hey, check out this level I made. Do you want to come play on it? And everyone's like, oh man, Eric made a level? Damn, because apparently I'm really good at it or something. And I mean, like, I do spend, like, hours thinking about, like, spawning coordination and flow and weapon placement and care and uh, where people are going to cluster and, like, possible abuses of the map. And, like, it was a huge brainstorm and I realized I could do that for a living. And I thought, I was like, okay, I'm definitely going into this. Um, anyways, so... Uh, on Monday, it was an interesting day for sure. Very interesting day. Um, went in to computer science, found Suraj, who is one of my buddies from FRC. I don't know him super well. Hopefully I will, though, because we have class together. He doesn't know anything about coding, and that's fine. You don't need to know anything about coding. But they showed us the syllabus on the big screen, and I was like, I learned all this in grade 10. <sighs> gonna be real easy. It's gonna be really easy. Um, and so there's this little thing where it's like, do a program a day, and then these really simple challenges. It's like, write a program that'll convert whatever you type in into a temperature in Fahrenheit. And that took like five minutes. It was like, okay, that's cool. Not even five minutes, it's stupid. And so, like, I, being me, I'm like, these are really boring, so I make them better. I'm like, oh, this could use an array list. I'm going to throw a two-dimensional array in there. I'm going to use a couple for loops. And it's, like, this way better robust program that can do way more than just convert temperatures. It converted to, like, Kelvin and back to Celsius and, like, switches and stuff. It's I, I won't get too into it. Um, and then after that, there was math. And it was, the math I'm taking is called matrices and linear algebra. I thought that would be really applicable to computer science. Um, and it is. It's a bunch of, it's algebra, but with matrices. And the only kind of math I'm ever going to need in programming is matrices. Well, I need like basic math too. But matrices is important. So I'm taking that. And it's simple. I understand everything so far, which is good because... Normally in math, I don't understand things at the beginning, and then I, I just get screwed over. Um, and then today, today was interesting. Um, oh, I should have, yeah, yesterday, while I, uh, while I was waiting for, um, I really apologize for all these pauses, I'm, I can't keep a conversation with myself. I'm not used to talking to myself. That's what it feels like right now, just so you know. Um, I'm really sorry. I'm not good at this at all. Um, yesterday I went and talked to a University One help person about my schedule. I was like, I don't really like this English class. I don't really like this. I would rather take this course and this course. And I'm like, well, actually, you don't even need to be taking this course. You could take this much easier, simpler course because science doesn't even care what courses you take. All you need are 24 credit hours. Meanwhile, I'm taking 33 credit hours. So now I only have four courses for a semester and they're nice and evenly spaced, simple courses. And I recommend that everybody goes and just like talks to them. Even if you think you're fine or whatever, uh, just go talk to them. They'll help you out. I mean, like, 
sure, you're in Toronto, that's fine. Don't come all the way over here to talk about your schedule because you aren't enrolled in the university and that's a huge waste of your money and stuff. I mean, you can come over here, please come over here and say hi. And you can stay with me and stuff. That would be cool. Um, and so today, I was, uh, I only had one class and it was early in the morning. It was psychology, which is one of the courses I added. Uh, it was really easy. It was like half an hour, did this survey. It took half an hour, I should say. And then I was out of there and I was like, well, I'm done for today. So um, I sat down, talked to people for a bit, then people left and I was all alone. And I was trying to find a nice spot to sit, but there weren't any nice spots to sit because it was rainy outside. So I eventually found a spot and I sat down and I was like, I'm going to make tic-tac-toe. So I started making tic-tac-toe. And then I got like maybe like an hour, 45 minutes, like 45 minutes to an hour of work on it. And I was like, okay, let's, let's start off, finish it later, I guess. Um, went and had some lunch, then I went home, and then I opened up Tic-Tac-Toe again, I was like, I'm going to finish this. And you know what I did? I finished Tic-Tac-Toe, and it only took me two hours. And I have working Tic-Tac-Toe. Uh, if you guys, uh, you know, I'll just do it anyway. I'm going to put it, the source in the description. What you're going to do is follow a link I'm going to put there to a site, and you'll download a uh, Blue Jay. Then you'll make three classes and then copy paste each class into a, the thing and then run the tic-tac-toe class and then you're good. It doesn't know if you won because you'll know if you won because it's just a person versus a person if you don't have paper. I, I just did it for me, okay? It's all for me and personal benefit. So deal with it. Um, yeah. Also, quick question. I noticed everybody else was uh, showing their dorm room or their room and I don't know if I want to just hop on that bandwagon but like I'm open to suggestion if you guys don't like my style or you don't like uh you want to see a part of my house or you want to see more of those weird machines over there or um I don't know whatever you want you can I can give you a tour of my house my neighborhood whatever you want I mean just leave a comment I'll I'll work my best on it I mean it's, it's, I'll, I'll do it. Just, yeah. See you guys next week. Okay, bye.